guys, it's Tayaka13, and in this video, I just want to show you guys on how to jailbreak 3.1.2. Um, I'm not sure if this jailbreak works on 3.1, so can someone who tries this please let me know if it works on 3.1, and if it does not, just say it doesn't. But, as you can see, here's my iPod Touch. I just restored it. And it is running 3.1.2. Um, Black Rain, which is the program we'll be using today, right there. This program is made by GeoHot. And GeoHot, if you guys don't know who he is, he was the creator of the first iPhone um, unlock. So he was the first guy to make it so the iPhone could work on T Mobile. And he was the creator of Purple Rain, which Joe wrote the iPhone 3DS. So now he's back with Black Rain. And it's one of the simplest jailbreaks I've ever seen. Um, and you don't even need to go in DFU mode or recovery mode. So the first thing you want to do is, if you're on any other firmware, restore to 3.1.2. So you want to download that firmware for 3.1.2 at this website, which will be in the description. And you just push the arrow and you select your device, make sure it's on 3.1.2. And yeah, so upgrade to 3.1.2 and restore to it on iTunes. So then, once you're on 3.1.2 and your device is plugged in, you want to open Black Rain and then click Make It Rain. It'll say Entering Recovery Mode. And now a picture of that's GeoHot on your iPod Touch will pop up. And it now says the jailbreak is done. Once your phone reboots, it was the simplest jailbreak ever. Please donate. Blah, blah, blah. It is finished. So done waiting for reboot. So just exit out and wait for it, for it to finish rebooting. All right, so after it is rebooted, it is now jailbroken. But one bad thing about this jailbreak is it does not come with City and IC right away. It comes with a program called Black Rain, an app on your iPod Touch. And you need a working Wi-Fi to get City and IC. So when you open this up, um, you can select City or Rock or IC. And so as you can see, I have Wi-Fi. So then I'll select City, and then I'll click Install. And it will download Cydia. And it will eventually respring after it's done unpacking it. So it says respringing. If you guys don't know what respring is, it's basically what happens when you apply a theme on Winterboard and it has to, on um, like, kind of restart your iPod Touch or iPhone, but not that much. As you can see, I have Cydia. So thanks for watching, and if this worked for you, please subscribe, rate five stars, and comment.